if life uh, throws you lemons, you add a little bit of tequila, salt and sargassum, and you make a cocktail. That's how we do it in Mexico. Today we're gonna talk about sargassum. What is it? Where does it come from? Why are we getting a lot of it? So sargassum, it comes from the sargassum sea. Initially there was only one sargassum sea. However, with um, agriculture's throwing a lot of fertilizers and nutrients, plus sea pollution and wrongly treated human waste, there has been another um, sargassum sea that has been created between Brazil and Africa. This is known as the Sargassum Atlantic Belt. So if you add the change of the currents in the Atlantic, this is pretty much the best formula so that sargassum can start flowing into the Caribbean. A question that everyone asks is, is there a season for sargassum? How can we know which are the best months to come and which months we might try to avoid? We've tried to see trends in the past. This started back in 2018. It doesn't have a long, a long time happening. So the months that we've seen uh, could get pretty bad has been April to August, okay? And again, uh, this is not a must. Uh, there's been situations where these months have beautiful beaches. It all depends on the currents, on the wind, uh, and a lot of factors. My suggestion would be to check the uh, daily monitoring um, tracking of sargassum. There's actually a Facebook group and we're gonna leave the description below. They have a traffic light system, so pretty much green is no sargassum, uh, yellow there's a little bit of sargassum, and then red there's a lot of sargassum. There's a lot of alternatives to do if there's a little bit of sargassum or a lot of sargassum in the beach. Thank God the Yucatan Peninsula has incredible natural and historical wonders. You can have incredible tours to parks, uh, colonial villages, archaeological sites, lagoons, cenotes. Actually, there's people that have created, instead of beach clubs, cenote clubs. So now you've got music, food, um, good drinks. So that would be one of the alternatives. Uh, also, there's like virgin cenotes that don't have uh, food, food and beverages, but you could also check them out. They're incredible. There's actually uh, a root that's called the root of the cenotes that has thousands of them. You also have some islands. So Holbox, Cozumel, uh, Isla Mujeres, Isla Contoy, those islands are not impacted on the west side of the island. In Holbox, you can go to Punta Cocos, Punta Mosquito, which are amazing. Contoy Island, you should definitely do that tour. It's incredible, it's a virgin island. We can also talk about Bacalar. Bacalar is amazing. Um, Bacalar is the lagoon of the seven colors. So there's no sargassum whatsoever in Bacalar. And also you can rent uh, or charter a yacht or do a tour on a boat because if you leave the, the coast, the shore, the beach, um, the waters are gonna be uh, crystal clear. Now we're gonna talk about the impact of sargassum in the environment. So sargassum impacts reefs because it doesn't let the light um, go in the water and that will hurt reefs. Also, once the sargassum dies, it can also fall down to the corals. Obviously, it impacts uh, the uh, tourism and there's a big economic impact due to this because mostly of the color of the water and the smell that it produces after it starts uh, decomposing in the beach. It'll also impact uh, impacts turtles. Small little uh, turtles can't swim to the ocean once the, their eggs hatch because of so much sargassum. So that's why it's really important to clean sargassum off the beach or just prevent it to reach uh, the, the sand and the beach. And we are also going to talk about the benefits of sargassum. In this channel, we always try to uh, look at the bright side of life, uh, look at the positive side of everything that's happening. There's a lot of benefits of this algae. Um, sargassum is a fertilizer, so it's an activator of plant growth. It works as food for marine, marine animals, so people that like to go fishing always look for sargassum 
uh, spots because that's where uh, there's a lot of marine wildlife uh, eating. It also combats uh, beach ero er erosion, uh, it shelters fish, it's actually used for healthy weight loss if you believe it or not, um, heart and eye health, joint pain, so there's a lot of health uh, benefits as well. They've used it for clothing, um, for recyclable containers, uh, food for animals, also for construction. There's actually bricks uh, being made out of sargassum, biofuel, biogas, and believe it or not, uh, they're actually even making cocktails out of sargassum. If life uh, throws you lemons, you add a little bit of tequila, salt, and sargassum, and you make a cocktail. That's how we do it in Mexico. So there's 19 countries that are being impacted and affected by sargassum. What are the measures that are being taken to contain sargassum? The first one is that we're trying sargassum not to hit the beaches, not to hit the sand, to stop it in the sea. So there's being barriers um, with boats that are collecting sargassum. Um, that's the first one. The second one, there's also people at the beach if it has already reached the beach that are collecting sargassum. The third and most important one would be to change our habits, to change the way we live. We produce this problem so we can also fix this problem. We can change global warming or reduce global warming by changing uh, the things we eat, our diet, our food consumption, um, the energy that we use for our everyday life. So try to go to sustainable energies. And this is something that we also have to take participation in. We can not only blame govern the government uh, for this situation, but we also have to do something to make it better. We made this video to inform and to try to give and share information because it's one of the main questions that investors ask when they're thinking about buying or renting a property in the Riviera Maya. If you have any more questions uh, related to Sargassum, reach us out. Our website is junglerealtor.com. Uh, where you will also find all of the incredible listings that we have available for you and the best locations. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be uh, generating more real estate content, lifestyle content, and just everyday questions that most investors have for us. Thank you.